Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, everything really, depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miliotis, and on social media, you know me as PD Beats. You will recognize my guest from a TV show called Mixed Dish. We're with Ethan William Childress. Ethan, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you. How has the quarantine been for you so far? It's actually been really great. Mm-hmm. I've had time to do stuff that I've never even thought of doing before, so... Yeah, you can be more productive, you know what I mean? Exactly. Absolutely. So, congrats on uh, Mixed Dish, and it got renewed recently, which is amazing. Yes. And, I mean, the first thing that kind of comes to mind is, I guess you're just excited when everything can go back to normal to shoot a se- another season of it. Exactly. I'm very excited for the second season. What did you kind of like the most about working specifically on that show, Ethan? Everybody. Like, everybody was just so great. The cast and crew would hang out. We would always make jokes in in between scenes. It was awesome. Absolutely. And every time you kind of work on a show or a movie, there's going to be kind of learning experiences. You're still learning every day as, you know, a younger actor. What were some learning experiences you got on Mixed Dish with some of the, from some of the other cast and crew, Ethan? Well, it all kind of came at once. But the biggest takeaways for me is just learn how to bring the lines alive, not just say them. Absolutely. When did you kind of decide that acting and storytelling was something that you wanted to do? I did an acting program, and right as I walked in the room and did the audition, I knew this is what I wanted to do. What do you like about it? Do you like the rush? Do you enjoy like what like because there's a rush to act as well, right? There's a rush and there's a funness to it, right? I really like relating to the characters and, like I said, bringing the character to life and all the lines. I feel like that's just so great. Absolutely. Were there any kind of favorite moments on set on Mixed Dish that you kind of, that come to mem- come to mind right away that you love doing? In the season finale, we actually had to learn that entire dance and choreographic, so that was really awesome. How long did that take to learn? Um, it took around, we stayed after set one day for around an hour to learn it. And then we practiced for like half an hour the next day for it. Oh, wow. So that, that's interesting. That, so what, when were you kind of, when did you find out that you had to like learn the dance? I actually did not know until the fact. And then my mom's like, oh yeah, we're going to practice this dance after today. And I'm like, wait, what? We're doing a dance? And then once we got in, they were like, which instrument do you want? And I'm like, I want the guitar. Yeah, so the dance was 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 something fun for sure. Um, when you kind of are on a show, there's always going to be, like you talked about the learning experiences, but there's going to be, you know, new people that you meet. And a lot of these people, you know, uh, become friends for a long time. What was kind of the first couple of days on set like when you kind of met the other cast and crew? Did you guys hit it off right away? I feel like we all just kind of bonded over the first table read because everybody was super excited for it and we just filled the characters in so well that we just bonded perfectly. Absolutely. And you know what? ABC has had like a very um, good track record of a lot of their, you know, sitcoms about families and especially you're part of a spinoff of, you know, Blackish and Grownish, which is pretty cool. Did you know about those shows before um, you got the role in Mixed Dish? I heard about Blackish, but I did not watch it at the time. I started really watching it once I got the callback for the role because now I'm like, okay, let's see how the older Johan does it so I can take from that in my actual life and then kind of mush it together into Johan and bring it to life. Did you have to do, so bring, bringing Johan to life, but did you have to do any other research for the role as well? Was there any other research that kind of went into it, Ethan? Not really, because me and the character are so alike, it just kind of came to me. 
So who in the, so the like the people that play your brothers and sisters on the show is that is that the opposite of the, is that the opposite like are they like their characters or are they different than their characters? <laughs> well, Santi uh, is definitely not a sassy. Um, Arika is kind of the same. She's pretty awesome on set and off, so that's cool. And then we instantly bonded, like I said. So then. We got to know each other quite a lot. That's really, really cool. That's really fun. Um, what did you kind of notice about... So, this is a question that I ask people. Do, do you watch Mixed Dish after you're on? Yes. <laughs> so, that, what, so what's that like watching yourself on the TV after you kind of shoot the show? Like, what's that like? It's actually really cool because it's like I'm sitting in my living room doing something I do every Tuesday and it's like it's me so no it's 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 really cool um besides acting what are some other hobbies that you like to do are you into sports are you into, do you like to write is there other things that you maybe want to do in the entertainment industry where you're older like what are you into besides the acting I did sports for multiple years before I got the job I played soccer and football mainly but um, one time I tried basketball. We actually ended up winning the uh, championship. So that was nice. And then I'm also a huge gamer. And I love anime. And then something I got into around third grade was sketching. Yep. I'm not the greatest at it, but it's so fun to do. Anime is, is, is becoming very big. Like, it's becoming... Do you watch My Hero Academia? Yes. That's one of my favorites. What's one of your favorite animes? Oh, I really like Black Clover and Fire Force. There's so many of them right now. Like, there's... It, exactly. It, but it, it, in general, not only anime, like, there's so much TV out there to watch. Like, I can't keep up, Ethan. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... What are some goals for you with the season two with your character, Johan? Is there anything that you kind of want Johan to do or experience? Like, have you thought about that at all? I really want him to try sports. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how that would work out. <laughs> <laughs> what about your other character? What about the other characters? What are some things that you would like to see maybe in season two? I really want the entire family to like go on a vacation for an episode and see how that would turn out. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of different personalities in the family do you think that's what makes it fun too ethan because you have all these different personalities of these different characters yes that's one of the biggest parts absolutely um so you're 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 living an interesting life because you're you know an actor but you're also a kid that goes to school and has a lot of other things going on. I mean, what's that like balancing the acting and like the school life? It's surprisingly not as hard as people think because we have such great directors and such great onset teachers that they just kind of find a time through learning our lines and doing school. So. Yeah, absolutely. So take us through, take us through a day then. Like you, is it are, uh, like, cause they're not, they're, they're like three to six hour days though on set, correct? Well, we can work up to nine and a half hours, but yes, usually six to eight hours is usually the normal day for us. And you're on there, and then how how many how much time is that of like the school, the tutoring, or is it all just business when you're there? Well, we're required three hours of school a day, but if we do four, we can bank an hour, and then we can take that if we have to like film... Say we film two on one day, then we can knock out four hours of school, get one in the bank, and then say the next day I have to film like five, then I can do two hours and then take from the bank. So how long was the the overall process of, of filming season one of Mixed Dish? Like the whole thing, not not just, not like when did you wrap? Like how long was that whole process? I think it took around two, maybe three months, if I'm not mistaken. Were, so. were, were you kind of... Um, were you kind of curious a little bit to what it was all going to look like? I mean, it's a, it's a big it's a big show. It's an ABC show. It's a big set. Like, what was kind of going through your mind, like, a couple of hours before your first day on set, if you can remember? I was very, like, what's this going to be like? Um, what's the crew? How do the cameras work? How did they get all these amazing shots? But I wasn't 
really extremely nervous because my mom kind of helped me get through it. And then once I got on set, like I said, we all bonded super well. So it kind of got me through the day. So it's a sitcom. It's comedy mixed. It's a, it's a funny show. Um, but is that a genre that you want to continue working in as well as other things? Like what are some other genres that you kind of want to work in down the road, Ethan? Hmm. Have you thought I do about that really at all? Enjoy comedy. Yep. But I think when I'm older, maybe like drama would be cool. Absolutely. I wouldn't mind doing drama when I'm older. Absolutely. The, is mixed dish was this your first like like big project that you've worked on? Yes. Before that, did you? It was more like kind of training and classes yeah. and plays that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So what it was, was like, that? What was? Pardon me? It was like short film, background work, all that stuff. Sometimes I find short film is is a is is a hard genre because you have to kind of they're obviously smaller scripts, so you have to fit in as much as you can in like a 10, 10 15 page script. Have you ever thought about that? Not I haven't thought about it that deeply, but I've thought about the concept of it. Absolutely. No, it's uh, it, it's it's one of those things where there's so many there's so many different things out there. Have you been watching TV and film lately? If yes, what have you been kind of watching? All American. I really loved All American. Great show. On CW, there's a lot. Are you into a lot of the superhero shows? Yes, I would kill to be on a Marvel or DC movie. There's so many amazing things around, but the TV shows as well, like Star Girl just got released on DC Universe. Like, there's exciting stuff continuing to happen in the superhero genres. What do you like the most so far about acting in general? What is your favorite thing about acting? The people I get to meet, because say I see someone on TV, and then I get to meet them and see how they're really like in real life. And to me, that's just so cool that I get to see someone on TV and then meet them. I feel like that's a whole experience in itself. Was that experience a lot different than you thought it was going to be? Like, did you kind of think it was going to be a completely different experience? You're like, oh, wow, like, I see you on TV, but, you know, we're all we're all just people hanging out. This is so cool. <laughs> exactly. That's basically what it was like, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do, you, do you find yourself... Um, like just like going back now and watching season one of Mixed Dish because it got rooted for season two, being like all excited about that. <laughs> yes. What I really want to do is wait till season two comes out and then binge one and two. That's interesting. You know what I found out a lot of people do as well is they'll purposely not watch the finale episode of a show so then they'll do like season three finale so then they could watch the season premiere of season four back to back i wanted to kind of try that one day but i feel like i i would i wouldn't want to wait too long you know what i mean i know i wouldn't have the patience for that <laughs> no for sure um and you know final question i want to know what was the the what was the family and friends reaction to you getting the role on Mixed Dish? And then what was the Yeah, what was that like? Everybody came over to the house while I was filming I think the third episode and they all had a party for me and they were all super excited and super supportive for it. So that was awesome. That's amazing. And what what was the um the family reaction to season 2 getting renewed? <laughs> yeah no absolutely well ethan thank you so much for coming on pop turn of the chat a little bit thank you for having me um where can people um you have it there's an instagram account that they could follow you on for updates as well yes they can follow me at the underscore real underscore ewc absolutely are you is there also twitter as well yes i have twitter instagram and facebook Amazing. Well, thank you so much um, for coming on and congratulations on uh, the renewal of season two of Mixed Dish. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, this has been Pop Turner at youtube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Ethan William Childress and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. 
be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.